1994. I think there are some, you know, uh, we can say mismanagement from the KNU leader. So some of the Buddhist, I mean, KNU members, they feel that they were discriminated by the KNU Christian leaders. You can see at the top of the KNU, mostly they are Christian. So they mostly favor with the Christian ceremony or activities. So Buddhists from the uh, we can reckon for people, they think that they were left behind. So this is what they would like to solve the problems or trying to get attention from the Kenyan leaders. But I think that it is not probably handled by the leaders. And are you a Christian or a Buddhist? I'm a Christian. You were born a Christian? or? Yes, born a Christian. How do you feel about that? I think that, you know, I can, you know, I can say that, you know, it's a, a, a very awkward or regret thing for the KNU because they didn't look carefully to that matter. Their claim is not a very big one, but we cannot handle it in a proper way. So the military regime, they took the opportunity and then s trying to fuel the situation to worse. So they, they create a lot of misinformation uh, inside the Buddhist community. Inside the KNU, you know, because of this ideology, there are some split inside the KNU. So in 95, we can say that the DKB, uh, Democratic uh, uh, Korean Buddhist uh, Army, you know, they took a side to the SPDC and then they were there. But with the DKB, they're still going on fighting. But uh, it's good for the military regime to use the DKB as a buffer, mm. uh, attacking to the KNU, but I think that it's only um, killing or attack to their own people. Whenever, you know, when you look back in 95, 96, 97, you know, the refugee camp in Thai were attacked mm -hmm. and burned down. They all put the blame on the DKP, even though the military were among that, you know, uh, attack. Mm. When you look at the KNU or the whole Karen, in Burma, 65% they are Buddhist. 20 or more than this, they are Christian with different denominations. And they are enemies also. So you can see inside the KNU structure, only from the top, they are few Christian leaders of many of, in majority but in the lower uh, rank like district or in township most of them they are Buddhist yeah Christian you know majority inside the ethnic Kachin and Chin they are you know Korean oh sorry Christian right. Korean I think that they only, I mean, I can say that you know, 30 or 25 percent they are they are, they are Christian. When you when we talk about the Christianity at the time, the Christian uh, evangelism, I mean, evangelists, they would like to get uh, the you know believers more and more. So they approach the village head, and then if one of the village head in this village, you know believe on this uh, whatever and then the whole village follow this 
In the past, there are Buddhism and animists. Most Korean from inside uh, the hill, they are animists. Still now, there are animists. 